Let me show you how to set up these new Twitch gift party alerts for your stream. We'll be using a free Twitch extension, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Your viewers will simply be able to either hover over the screen or go beneath your stream, and they'll be able to click on the gift party extension. They'll be able to search in the search box for whatever search term they want, like SpongeBob. They can find whichever one they'd like, like let's say this one. Then they'll grant access to be able to use the extension. You'll click submit now, and the gift will play live over your stream, and you can also have it set up for bits in case you want to make some extra revenue. Viewers can also bookmark certain ones that they like so they don't have to search it all the time by clicking the little heart icon next to the gift. And then you can simply go to the very bottom where you see the hearts, click that, and you'll see all of your different favorites that you can easily access during stream. So shout outs to Gift Party for sponsoring today's video. Let me show you how to set it up. So the first thing that we want to do is click this purple add to Twitch button. Now we'll click this purple authorize button at the bottom. Now we're going to pick whatever streaming software we use to stream to Twitch for this video. Video, I'm going to be doing OBS Studio, but you could also do it for Twitch Studio Beta or Streamlabs. So I'm going to go with the OBS Studio option. So I'm going to click that. First step we have to do is create a new browser source inside OBS. So let me bring them up side by side. And if you guys are wondering where I got this really cool overlay package, I got it from own.tv, which I'll also leave linked in the description down below. But now we're going to go to our sources box. We'll click the plus button. We'll go to browser source and we're going to call this gift party overlay, if I can spell. Then we're going to make sure the source is visible make sure that's checked and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to click the next step and it's going to give us a little browser source URL. So we're going to click that and it's going to copy it for us. We're going to go over to the URL section and click Control V or you can right click and paste. So we're going to paste that in there. Then we're going to want to scroll down and make sure that Control Audio via OBS is checked as well as shut down source when not visible and refresh browser when the scene becomes active. So we're going to make sure that all three of those are checked. We're going to click OK. Give it a couple seconds. You're going to see that the gift party logo is going to pop up with the test. And now it says waiting for implementation. We're going to give it a couple seconds. But if we're not having any success like right now, we're just going to double click on that gift party source over in OBS. We're going to scroll down till it says refresh cache of current page. We're going to click that little button there. Give it a second. Click OK. And now you can see that it now says next step so we can move on to the next step. You can also feel free to resize how large this is with the corners and you can click and drag it to move it to whatever part of the screen you would like. So now we'll go ahead and click the next step button on the gift party page. Now we're going to do the audio portion. First thing we'll do is go back to the audio mixer in OBS studio. Then we're going to go to the gift party overlay mixer option right here. Click these three little dots. We're going to go to advanced audio properties. Now, if you guys are using desktop audio, which means that anything going out of your computer is going to be picked up in this little mixer, then you're going to go to your gift party overlay, go to audio monitoring and just do monitor only. Otherwise, if you aren't using a desktop audio, audio or broadcasting your audio globally like that, then you're going to change the audio monitoring to monitor and output. Because if you do monitor and output with desktop audio, that means you're going to get an echo and it's going to play twice. So pick whatever option suits your audio setup. For this instance, I'm using a desktop audio device in my mixer. So I'm going to just do monitor only just to make sure that I don't get echoing with the audio. So once you've picked your choice, you're going to click the close option. And now we're going to move on to the next step with the next step button. Now we'll click the play test gift button and it's going to play test a gift for us going to load the gift it's going to say who played it for how many bits since the gift worked correctly we're going to move on to the next step with this little next step button. now we can click on the install button for gift party on twitch so we're going to click the purple button it's going to bring us to the twitch extension page where we can click the purple install button above my head so we're click that button before we click on the configure dashboard button we're going to go to the activate button in the bottom right click this little down arrow and you can either set it as a component which will show up over your live stream, which will look like this. Viewers can hover their mouse over the screen, select gift party, and they'll be able to pick out whatever gift they want to play. So simply click on it and then they'll be able to submit their gift. But you also have the option as setting it as a panel, which I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I currently already have three panels, so I'm just going to swap one of them out. I'm going to go with panel one. So I'll click set as panel one. Then we're going to click replace and then we're going to click done. If you don't have any of the panels set up before, then you'll simply just have to put it as a panel. You won't have to replace anything. But now you can see it says uninstall because we've installed the Twitch extension panel. And now we can click this little configure button next to it. Then we'll be able to hit the configure dashboard button. So we'll click that. It says gift party extension is now visible to all your viewers because I have it set as panel one. So it has panel one. So we're going to do customize more settings. And this is where you'll find your browser source in case you happen to lose that URL for your alerts. You'll also see that the Twitch extension 
extension is active as panel one under my stream. And this is where we're gonna be able to set up all the different settings. But before we set up the settings, let me go show you what it currently looks like under our stream. So I'm gonna go back to Twitch. I'll exit out of all of this. I'm just gonna go to the top right and click on channel. Then I'm gonna click the little chat tab. So I'll click that. Then I'm gonna scroll down to where all my panels are. And you can see that I now have the gift party panel here. However, it is not active because my stream is currently offline. But this is where your viewers will be able to pick between all the different gifts when you're live. So there's a bunch of different settings that you can customize, like enabling for only Twitch followers to be able to use this. You can enable subscribers only in case you only want subs to be able to do that. You can also set a cooldown time in case you don't want people spamming them. And this is where you can start making money if you want to enable the bit submissions, but if you're not a Twitch affiliate already, then you can't have access to bits yet. But if you are a Twitch affiliate, then you'll be able to enable this. And this will require viewers to pay a certain amount of bits in order to use those gifts on your stream. And then you'll be able to set the bits price here with this little drop down menu. So you can start with 100 as the smallest, or you can go all the way up to $100 if you really think someone's going to pay 100 bucks for that. So I'm going to keep it on the very lowest for 100 bits. But if you do not want to have people pay actual bits to do this, you can simply disable this. And then you'll be able to use for just Twitch followers or just certain tier subscribers, and they'll be able to play the gifts on your stream for free. Now we can look on the left hand side where it says exclusive gifts. And this is where you'll be able able to upload your very own gifts in case you want to do that. For example, I'll go ahead and upload a new gift by clicking this button. I'm going to click the purple gift button here. It's going to open up your files. I'm going to pick out this gift that I made myself, and then I'm going to click open. We're going to give it a second to upload. Then we can set the gift title right here. So I'm just going to call it donation. And then you can set the bits price individually for each and every exclusive gift that you upload. So for this one, you can put it all the way up to 10,000 bits, but I'm going to leave it at 100 bits. I'm going to set it to next. It's going to say congrats. The gift has been successfully added. So we can hit the close and then you'll see the custom gift that we just uploaded. So if we click it, you'll be able to make changes and then you can save or you can delete the gift if you'd like. Below that, you'll be able to see the event alerts tab and you'll be able to see add alerts for new followers, subscriptions and more. So if you want, you can add event alerts. So for follower alerts and so on, we can click on the add event alert. And so we'll have alert trigger. We can have new follower, new sub, new gifted sub and as well as a raid. So if we want to have it for a new follower, we can either upload our own GIF or we can select a GIF from the library, which is a huge library. So for example, I'll just type in SpongeBob. I'll hit search. It'll have all of these different SpongeBob GIFs. There's so many. And it'll just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until you find one that you like. So for example, let's just go with this one. Then we can click save. Then anytime someone follows our channel, it'll play this GIF alert. And if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off like that. That. or if you want to edit it you can click the edit button or if you want to delete it you can click delete and get rid of it and you can also add more event alerts so if you want to have one for a new subscriber or for gift or raid you can feel free to do that as well now if we look at the very top of the screen you'll see a little earn with referrals button so we'll click that and you'll be able to share your referral link with this little copy link button and you can have your streamer friends sign up for gift party using your link and whenever they have viewers that spend bits on their gifts you'll get five percent revenue from every single stream that you refer for every single bit used gift that they spent. But don't worry, it doesn't come out of the streamer's end, it comes out of the developer's end. So the streamer's not gonna lose any money whatsoever. So this is a real nice way to get a little bit extra money in your pocket. And then if we click out of this and go down to the referral tab on the left-hand side, you'll be able to see all of the referral money you've made. And then you can click the withdraw button when you have more than $5 in your account, put in your PayPal email address so they can send you the money and you can start buying some more chicken McNuggets. But once you have all the settings to your life, Liking, you can hit start stream and depending on whether you pick component if you pick component they'll be able to play gifts through this thing here or if you picked panel you'll be able to scroll down and there'll be a panel underneath your stream where your viewers can play those gifts watch this video to the side of me for more cool alerts on your twitch stream but my name's cody and i'll see you in the next one